there are four girls and six boys in a room. So how many people? Ten people. Okay. If two are chosen, what is the probability that the first is a boy and the second is a girl? Without replacement. Meaning, they're taking one and then taking another. And they're not coming back in. Basically, you can't choose the same person twice. So, we have two events. One event and another event. Now, are these events and or or? You should notice they're an and because you're doing a boy and a girl. So the first one is boy. The second one is girl. Now for a boy, how many people do we have to choose from? Ten. For the second one is how many to choose from? Nine. Because there's one less. For the first one, how many boys are there to choose from? Six. There are six boys. And how many girls? Now, if it was boy, boy, wouldn't that be a three, um, a five? Could it go from six to five? But this is a boy and a girl. So my answer, we're just going to multiply straight across. But before we do that, can I simplify to make it a lot easier? Doesn't this cancel with this, leaving me three and two? Doesn't this cancel with this, leaving you two and five? So my answer looks like it's going to be two times two over five times three, which is four fifteenths. You have a four and fifteen chance of getting a boy and then a girl in this particular problem. Number two. On a certain day, the chance of rain is 40% in Visalia, but 90% in Fresno. Assume that the chance of rain in the two cities are independent. That's important. What is the probability that it will not rain in both cities? Now, when you hear the word both cities, is that an and or an or? Okay, both cities usually means an and. So it means it's going to not rain in one and the other. Are you good? But you see the word not? So not, which one first? Let's say not Visoya and not Fresno. So what would not Visoya be? Do you understand? It's 40 for it to rain, so that'd be 60 for it not to rain. Now, are we okay? Is this one going to decrease, or is this also out of 100? Aren't they at independent? They don't affect each other. And what about not raining in Fresno? It'd be 10. Let's simplify this. Can I reduce, cancel these, cancel these? And then it looks like I have 6 out of 100. So I have a 6% chance, which I could reduce to actually 3 fiftieths. But I have a 6% chance, because 6 out of 100, of it not raining in both cities. What would be different for it is raining in both cities? I'm, I'm not going to solve it. I just want to set it up. Because on the benchmark, it could say either one. Or it could say not raining in one and raining in the other. So what would the first one be if it's not Visalia? Sorry, if it is Visalia. That would be 40 out of 100. And is Fresno? You got that? And then you solve it, but we're not going to solve it right now. But on the test, you could have either one. 
Okay, last one. Two colors of large and small marbles in a basket. So you have large, small, and in both large and small, there's two different colors. You have an 80% chance of drawing a large or red. If you knew you have a 30% chance that it is red and a 10% chance that it is small, then what is the probability of getting a large red? Now, how many marbles are we choosing? We are choosing a large red. So that's one thing. Is this an or or and? You're choosing one thing, but there's multiple things happening. It's a large and a red. Okay, this is large and red. We're looking for a large red marble. So it's large and red. Now, we know that you have an 80% chance of it being large or red. I mean, let me show you something here. This is going to take some setup to get you familiar with it. Now, don't let that confuse you, but do you understand? This is a or statement. Or, red, large or red. Isn't that 80%? Isn't my answer or? Isn't this my or answer? That's my or. Large or red. Isn't this my and part? You guys remember? This is large and red. Isn't that what we're trying to find? Large and red. So this is x. We don't know that. We're trying to find that. So wouldn't this be large and this be red? Don't we need the probability of large, the probability of red, the probability of large and red to subtract it, and that will give us large or red. This is a really tricky problem. So what's the probability of large? Well, it says here small is 10%. So if you have a 10% chance of it being small, what's large going to be? 90. That's tricky. you got to read very carefully. And red, is that a 30% chance of red? When you add these, don't you have over 100%? Because aren't there large red marbles that we have to take out? Could I solve this for x? Shouldn't the probability of large, probability of red, minus the probability of large and red, give you large or red? Okay. It's kind of, this is, for the first time, this is kind of hard, but it gets easier. So this is, uh, looks like 120 when you added those, plus x equals 80 over 100. Can I then minus the 120 over? Oops, that should be a minus, shouldn't it? See, so yeah, I missed the minus right there. It's a minus. So we're going to have negative x equals 80 minus 120. Is that negative 40? So if they're both negative, could I divide both sides by negative? Yeah. And I end up with, isn't that 40%? Positive 40%. So what's the probability of it being large red? It's 40%. Or 40 out of 100, or reduce the fraction. You leave it as a fraction or a percent.